everyone, Tom Morley here with part two of the Space Blasters 84 tutorial series. In this particular video we're going to talk about the source material that we'll need for this particular game. We need to understand the separate pieces that we need in order to compile our game and one of the best ways to do that is to just create a a picture or a PNG of your game. You can do this in GIMP or in any other paint program and kind of get a general idea of what you want the game to look like using just the paint program. Throw in some pictures and some background and, and whatnot. In this particular case I already have the game completed so we're going to use that to kind of walk through understanding what we'll need for the source files. So one of the first things we'll need in this particular game is I wanted to see some stars and a uh, and some nebulas moving from the top to the bottom and I wanted the nebula and the stars to be running at uh, separate speeds so one would be running uh, from the top to the bottom or moving from the top to bottom a little bit faster than the other so we'll talk about the different parts of the background that we'll need We'll also need to decide on a look and feel for our game. I wanted mine to look kind of 1980-ish, so I went with uh, this particular font. We'll talk, we'll talk about where we can find some different fonts. Also, um, we need some rocks to, to explode. We need a ship that the player can control. We need lasers to fire at the rocks. We also want particle effects such as the, the jet exhaust for the ship itself and when we hit an asteroid we'd like to see the explosion so we'll talk about the particle effects as well. No game is complete without some music in my opinion. It's pretty boring if you don't have some music running in the background so we'll talk about how to incorporate music where we can download some. Uh, as well as sound effects. It would be pretty boring if we um, smashed these rocks and, and we didn't hear an explosion. So we'll, we'll talk about the sound effects as well. So there's a couple of different things we can do, right? We could just pull all of the assets that we need off from the internet or we could create them ourselves. And uh, what I've done for this particular game is a little bit of both. I've pulled some stuff off the internet and I've also created some of the assets myself. Now I've packaged all of these files up into a zip file and I'm going to make it available in the comments below. But I kind of wanted to walk through all the different aspects of where I went to get the different assets for the game. So that if you wanted to make a different game, you might go to these particular websites for yourself. So for the um, scrolling background I knew that I was going to need three pieces. I wanted a jet black background that didn't move at all. I wanted another layer that w had the stars themselves so that I could move that from the top to the bottom as well as a, uh, a nebula layer so that I could have the stars and the nebulas run at different speeds. Now you could probably find these on the internet somewhere if you wanted to um, use something different but I made these particular files myself the backdrop the stars and the nebula and if you want to know how to do this in GIMP well then you can check out my tutorial that I have called GIMP plus GMix space tutorial and it'll show you how to create the stars in the nebula and you can just save them out uh, the separate layers and save them out as PNGs like I did here now I said I wanted kind of a 1980s style look for the the fonts that I use in my game and in order to use different fonts in your games you're actually going to have to import those fonts into your game and when you import them you'll need to import those fonts in the font size that you're going to use in your final game so that's kind of interesting as well but um, I wanted to use the Modak font that's this font right here that I use for the game and you can find it all over the internet by just doing a Google search on Modak now um, I found it on 1001fonts.com but um, you can find this in many different places the lasers the rocks and the ships 
okay you can probably find these particular files anywhere on the net okay one great place to find all kinds of um, especially 2D assets is opengameart.org this is a great place this has all kinds of 2D art and this is where I got the laser graphics for the laser for our ship but um, the package that you're going to download and the one that I've included in my source file has all kinds of spaceships and asteroids and all kinds of different lasers and it's it's full of all kinds of things so that's this is a great resource the rocks themselves I got them at a I found them on a form at the gamercreators.com website in their forms. Uh, there was a, a gentleman there that decided that he was going to create some 3D uh, rocks and make them available for everybody to use for free. Which What is cool about these particular rocks is they're not 2D looking. So I wanted to create a game where there was animated rocks and this is a series uh, or an animation of a few different size rocks and when you use this in the animation player of Godot it looks really cool so well, you'll see how to do that in future videos and the ship itself I got the ship itself at um, millionth vector his blog this guy absolutely I gotta click on the link because this guy he absolutely rocks at creating 2d art um, his spaceships are out of this world and this page with the with the link in the file that I've got in the zip file you can go to hit go to his web page and check out all of his ships he's this guy's fantastic he even has the normal maps for ships if you wanted to um, use normal maps with them and normal maps work in Godot just fine so check this uh, guy's page out man it's awesome okay we also need sound effects of some kind and uh, Dr. Peters here he created a small application that works great for the type of games that I make you know kind of the retro style games and you can download it for Windows or for Linux and what's great about this is you can just click on the laser shoot button and it will create a random sounding laser uh, same thing with the explosion and power-ups and coin pickups you know this is a cool little tool that you can use for free and use uh, commercially as well so any of these sounds that you create with this can be used commercially as well so it's pretty cool and music you can find free music all over the internet but uh, one of the places that I like to go the most is uh, freemusicarchive.org and the music that I tend to like is uh, music by Boxcat Games and Roll Music. You know, they they create some awesome stuff that's kind of 80s sounding, kind of like uh, the old style bleep blip music. Really cool stuff. So that's what I what I decided to use for this particular game. So if you click on the link below and download the zip file, it's going to include everything. It'll include the particle effects, the rocks, the ships and lasers, the music and sound, the fonts, as well as all three of the background layers that I created. So you'll have everything that you'll need and then some. And uh, so download that zip file. And I can't wait to get started. So I will see you in the next video and we'll get to work.